Hi, so before we get started, I'd just like to ask you, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and also at the end of the video, please consider give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also, leave a comment below on ways to and suggestions and ways to improve this video moving forward. Let's go. Hi, in this lesson, I'm going to cover the concept of argument capture. An argument capture is a uh, core Mokito 2 feature that enables you to capture an argument that is passed to a mocked method um, and then you can use it to then you know write your own assertions so obviously most of the times you use the, the built-in argument matchers that use the you know equals method for equality and that's how for most of the times you should use you know argument um, you know matchers like like in this particular case right uh, you know with the equals here but you know sometimes you want to actually you know um, capture the argument and do your own assertions okay so let's implement a argument capture to um, you know to illustrate how you can use this um, take advantage of this feature so let's call the test um, um, argument capture and as usual, let's mock the uh, library service. Um, okay, now we have our mock library service. And then we're going to use the, the argument captor as a, um, as a uh, factory method for class, where you pass in the type of the argument, right? In this case, it's uh, an integer. And let's introduce a variable for captor. So now we have our mock, we have our captor. And we can write our verification, verify that when the service has book with ID, it's called. Now we're going to utilize our capture to cap capture to capture the argument. And now that we have the uh, um, the capture has captured the argument, we can use we can write our assertion. So assert that the capture get value is uh, equal equal to uh, let's say forty two. Okay. And now we can write our method. So service has book with ID uh, 42. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So we mock the library service. And remember, what I'm interested in doing here is calling the has book with ID method on the library service. Okay, and uh, basically capture the argument that is passed to it, right? So that I can then do a further assertion. Okay, so obviously I could write this in a simple, you know, just equals, um, you know, um, to capture the argument here, you know, but this is just to illustrate an example where you might be interested in capture the argument, um, you know, as opposed to, you know, writing the, the uh, built-in uh, matcher here so that you can do further assertions. This is a simplified case because obviously we have a very simple you know, object. The argument is very simple, it's just an integer. But if you have a complex object, you might want to you know, get the values and do further assertions. So let's write this and see what we get. OK, as you can see, it passes, OK? So um, now let's uh, uh, compare this implementation uh, of using an argument captor with using a custom um, argument matcher to see the differences. So um, notice that an argument captor, so number one, it's more suitable for verification. So um, the reason is that, um, so for example, if we were to write this um, when a service has book ID, and now I would use the captor to capture the value, you know, it's called let's say then return true for instance right so this looks a little bit strange because um, if you look at the implementation of the capture method you will see that it returns a default value here so let's look at the default value here so this is just gonna return you know whatever default value for the object you're using in this case I'm using an integer so the default an integer is initialized with zero so I don't have a really a proper, you know, I'm already limited in using an actual default value here as opposed to say any int or, or another value. Um, so this is one of the reasons why 
um, you know, when you use an argument captor, captor are really more suitable for verification as opposed to stubbing. Also, another um, you know limitation of a captor is that when the verification fails, for instance, if I were to put minus forty two here, okay. So let's run this and notice that I am passing minus forty two, but I'm expecting to get forty two. So this um, test will fail. And if you look at the error message, you see it just says expect 42, but it was minus 42. Whereas for an argument matcher, I actually can customize, you know, my um, uh, verification error message. So an argument matcher is more flexible. You can write your own custom uh, error message. Um, whereas a captor is really more, you know, suitable for number one, only verification only. And number two, when the only thing you are interested in doing is capturing the argument and then do further assertions. Okay, but as you can see, you know, it's it's um, in certain cases it comes in handy. Okay, so this lesson covered the argument capture and the difference between it and an argument matcher and when to use it. Uh, this is Nilton from craftofprogramming.com. Thanks for watching.